Okay, you ready? I would probably be the first to tell you that the that the PEMDAS question that you see here, the one on the final exam, isn't quite as hard. All right, but I'm just curious. I want to go around the room. I want you to I want you to tell me what you got and be honest. Start with you, Ben. What'd you get? Five. Britt, what'd you get? 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 Four. Fourteen, what'd you get? Five. Five. Four. Three. Seventy-seven. Five. 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 I need you to check your steps and check your work, okay? Because obviously there's only one right answer. So if you didn't get this, you have to try to figure out where you made your mistake. When you have parentheses, we know parentheses goes first, right, in, in order of operations. If you have three sets of parentheses, you can technically do all three in one step. So what I'm going to do is first substitute in my value. Because you got to do that first. And be careful, because I've seen kids that substitute incorrectly. You've got to be really, really careful when you do this. I know, it was in there, so I just went with it. Okay? Um, so be real careful when you, when you substitute in. You are going to have plenty of time next Wednesday. So don't rush. You have two and a half hours. Check everything. Check everything. Check your substitution goal. Your part two questions count a lot more than your part one, so you really want to check your part twos. Okay. I'm going to evaluate three divided by one, which is, just say it out loud, three. three. And don't forget the squared. I'm going to take care of that in the next step. Now, within the parentheses, within the parentheses, there, which, what do I have to do first? Which is what? Um, wait, nine. Okay, so I'm doing this first within here. But I'm still going to leave my parentheses as is. Okay? I could do it technically right now, but let me save it. I don't want to do, I don't want to do a, a whole lot of things in one step. I'll, I'll save it for the next step. Before divided by 2, I can evaluate as. Okay? Now I'm only, I still got that one set of parentheses, which I'm going to do next. 18 divided by 9 is? 2. All right, what do I do next? Ed? So, um, Correct. 3 squared is what, bud? Right. What did you get as an answer? 5. Okay, 2 times 2 gets done next. That's 4. And yeah, 9, to, nine minus 4 is 5, and that's our answer. Yes. It was, it's a little bit more difficult than what you're going to expect to see. And as a matter of fact, I think, I think there's another one in the next review packet that you're going to do that is easier. But you need to get it, you need to get it right because it's order of operations. And if you know it, you just need to prove that you know it. I mean, we've done it. I mean, we've done it enough times where that you just, my advice to you is you just have to be careful. Okay, where kids tend to make mistakes is exponents. I've seen so many times. When you go from 3 squared down to the next step, I've seen 6. Because we forget it's 3 times 3. So be careful with your exponents. Number 2, in all fairness, hasn't been covered in detail in module number 4. When we got to module 4, we were kind of up against the state test, and I needed to get you to equations. And we kind of, not that we rushed, not that we rushed through it, but I needed to uh, take out some things, and this was one of them, is where you have to create an equation from a word problem. Okay. Let me give you some what I think I hope is some helpful advice. As usual, with any word problem, you underline your key VIPs. Six dollars, fifty cents, which, let me just, what is fifty cents as a decimal? Let's just take care of that right now. 0.50. I'm going to put this here because I'm going to need it later. And then I'm going to go to A 
And this is a key word because when you see the word equation, automatically there has to be an equal sign somewhere. So I'm going to put that in my box. Equation means you've got to create something that has an equal sign. Otherwise, it's just an expression. And I need a total amount y and an x to be placed somewhere. If they give you two variables, they have to be on the opposite side of the equal sign. And since we're trying to find total amount, I'm going to put it here. You could put it on the other side and still be OK, but now everything else is going to go to the right of the equal sign. And here's where you got to figure out, well, what is it that I'm trying to find? It says he makes $6 a day. I'm going to put 6 down right here, 6, plus whatever he makes per mechanical bird. What does he make per, is it a mechanical bird? Oh, mechanical device. I'm thinking freak the mighty. Um, what does he make, what does he make per mechanical device? Alexa, which is 0 0.50 times the amount of mechanical devices, which is x. And that's what it looks like. y equals, right? I'm just going to say it. y equals, that's the total amount, equals $6 plus 50 cents per mechanical device. What do you have? There, there's some variations that I will take. What do you got? What do you have? Six plus equals. I'm going to leave it up there. You're just going to see it doesn't work. I'm going to show you why. That point five zero, Alexa, has got to go somewhere. Say it again. Wait, wait, slow down. Six plus. Yep, you just have it reversed. That will work. You just have it reversed, but you have the same thing. Alexa. Six plus what? Yep, that'll work. This is this is this simplified, but you're okay. Once you have the equation and the equation is correct, it's a straight substitution because now they're going to give you a value for x. You substitute it in and you'll be able to figure out the total amount. So now we go to b. I'm going to rewrite the equation that we created, which is y equals, that's the total amount. That's a reminder, that's total. $6 plus 50 cents per mechanical device. Substitute in 12 mechanical devices. That's getting substituted in for x. Y equals 6 plus 0 0.50 times, because now I'm going to put the time symbol in, because I'm going to put a number next to it, 12. And now it's order of operations. Got to do this first. What's half of 12? Because that's what 50, 50 cents is. What's half of 12? 6. Total amount is twelve dollars. Okay. Now, Alexa, see here's why this will not work. Six plus that twelve becomes eighteen. It's not the same. It won't work. Wait, can you slow down? Yeah, yeah. I'll look at it after. But this is this is the equation for the variations that we showed. This is the equation that will work for that word problem. I don't know. Tia. Uh, I did point 50 times 12 and then 100 and then... Five well, point, wait, wait, point 0.5 times 12 is 6. Yeah, 600. I said 100 and then 500. Like, it sounds like if a decimal, you, you forgot to move your decimal over. I'll look at it. I'll look at it. I don't know. I'll look at it. I don't know what it is. When you did 0 0.50 times 12, what'd you get? $6. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. $6. And you get 12. Yeah, that, that's this equation. Look, 0.50 times what you just told me times 12. 
plus your six. You're good. Siege. Yeah. Okay, next. I always keep my fingers crossed with this because we've done it so many times. Tell you what, before I tell you the right numbers, tell me what I did wrong. I've seen this happen on the last time we did a test like this. I saw this. Good or bad? bad? Bad. What do I have to count by on the top? Six. Okay, good. Got to count by six. I think, I mean, I, this tells you what to count by. That's the easiest. Did you get 12, 18, and 24? Yeah. Then did you get count by threes and get six, nine, and 12? Yeah. The other way to do it and I'm not suggesting you do it this way, but six to three, if I were to ask you what's the value of that ratio, what's the value of the ratio? Remember, six to three can be reduced to what over what? Three. Not three, one. Dave, two to one. And now, if you wanted to, you can then count by twos and count by ones, and then you would get Eight, four, nine, four and a half, but you don't, you could do then 10, five, because really this six is half of 12. Three is half of six. You could do it that way. I tell you, keep it simple. Count by sixes, count by threes, because you'll make a match. Here's my cherry. Count by sevens, and just be careful. Don't make a basic math error. Count by fours. And this will work because you now have two ratios that you can compare. You're looking at, preferably, trying to find ratios where the amount of water between cherry and orange is the same. Where do you see it? For how many cups? Sam, I'm going to circle that. See, my 12 is here, my 12 is here. Once I have the same amount of water, I can then compare which one's stronger by the amount of tablespoons of flavoring. So which one's going to taste stronger? Blue. Orange. Correct, because that is 24 is more sugar than 21. How many got orange as your answer? Okay, great. Great, great, great. And then in your explanation, you want to say something to the effect. Now, I'm going to do it verbally because it takes too long to write it out. When both cups of water are the same, the flavoring with more tablespoons will taste stronger. Something to that effect. I did orange because there's 21 um, flavoring is less than 24 flavoring. I still want to mention water. When the, when the amount of water is the same or constant, that's from science. The constant is your water, 12 and 12. You do want to mention the water being the same, that 12 cups, for full credit. I don't know when they, when they both have 12 cups of water, orange had more flavor. That's perfect. Say it again nice and loud. Hold on. Go ahead. When they, had bo when they both have 12 cups of water, orange had more flavoring. That'll work. So she's mentioning the water and then the more flavoring. Hey, what do you got? Yeah. I didn't know that you could just um, do the tablespoon thing, so I did it on work. And I put 21 over, 24 over 12, 21 over 12, and I turned them into, um, yeah, and I think it was mixed numbers, and then I... That would work. The higher mixed number would work, yeah. I think you, you did more work than you needed to, but you, you, it would still work because of the fact that your denominator 12 stays the same, yeah. I gotta look at it, man, because I don't. You, th that's true, but you're not mentioning, you're not referencing the two ratios that you found in the in the chart. I don't think. I don't have to look at it and say. Last one, Beck. We got it. You're done. You don't have to go any further. Got it. Go. You would need more. 
You would need more explanation, I mean. I said the water was the same in the cherry and orange, but orange has more flavor. That's it, done, you got it. Good. Okay, next. All right. Out of all the questions that I would urge you to check your work, the coordinate plane is one of them. If you plot one point incorrectly, it's going gonna, it's gonna to throw everything else off. So be real careful and double check your plot points. Okay, right, but let's just do it first. Negative 8, positive 8 is there. Then you've got 9, 8, and again, be real careful. C is 5 and then negative 2, and then negative 4, negative 2. Yep, I made a mistake already. Thank you. Negative 4, negative 2. There it is. Okay. When you connect it, yes, you have a trapezoid. Trapezoid is, is our shape. And how many of you broke it up triangle, triangle, square? How many of you broke it up triangle, triangle? It can be done. You preferably want you preferably want to want to break it up in as few shapes as possible. It's less it's less it's less work. I'm going to show you triangle, triangle, and see if you get the same answer. If you should, yeah, I'm saying most of you that just raise your hand broke it up triangle, 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 and then a square in the middle. Okay, and, and it should still work. And then you can also do it with composition too. That would work too. But whether you do it this way or if you do it with composition, you're going to wind up with three sets of formulas and three sets of substitutions. I'm just going to show it to you with, with two sets. Okay? Because if you know the area of a triangle, and obviously you do because you broke it up into triangle, triangle, the only tricky part, as you'll see, is knowing the heights of your triangle. So let me, let me just do it. All right. I connect D to B, and that's going to create this triangle right here. And then you have uh, B, C, and D being the second triangle. Okay, that will work as long as you just have to be you have to be real vigilant when you count your height. No more so for B, C, D than for A, D, B. Okay, ready? Formula for triangle. I'm going to do green first. I'll keep it color coded. Base times height divided by 2. Good. Got to be careful when you count. Count with me. Ready? Man, this is my base. It's got to go along and be parallel to an axis. Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, and in this case, my my height can be done inside the triangle. It will work because it's from here's my base and here is my point. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Stop counting. And if you do that, you get 85. 17 times 10 is 170 divided by 2 is 85. Okay, now you have to be careful with the blue one. The base, count with me, the base, that's actually one. Oh, I'm doing blue. Oh, here's blue. Yeah, okay, I'll get it later. All right, one, count. Thanks, Tim. Nine. Okay, here's where you got to be careful. Ready? Watch. My height is not inside the triangle. It's not this. It's actually outside the triangle. And that's where you just have to be careful. And if it still doesn't make sense to you and you get the answer right doing it your way, um, it's fine. You could break it up into three shapes. I just think it's more work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's ten. 
and you'll get 45. Then you add it together, and the answer is 130 square units. Did you get it? You did, right, you did composition. Did you get 130? Yeah. It worked? Any way will work. You get full credit if you do composition, decomposition, as long as you get 130, you'll get full credit. We have a question being asked. Yes. I will tell you this. Can I just, and I'll look at it. If you did composition, the two, the area of the two triangles that you have to subtract should be the same. If they're not, you did made a mistake in your triangles. Okay. No, but we're looking from here to here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's a four by ten. Yeah, it, true. It's not over the axis perfectly, but it's still a four by ten triangle. Yeah. All right, number five. Yeah, Lex. Technically, you're right. Yes. Did you get 130? Yeah, good. Number five, I'm just going to give you the answer because we just did surface area. Did you get 102 yeah. square feet? Yeah. One, one, oh, 102. Yeah. How many of you got it right? I need to see a show of hands. All right, it, 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 just check because everybody should have this, the, the area for each face the same. You should have um, 27 is one face, 18, and 6. Did you, did you have 27, 18, and 6? Add them and multiply by 2. Because remember, there's two of those each. There's two of each face. Yeah, Lopes. I'll, look, I'll have to look at it. Let me look at it. Number 6. Back to tape diagrams. It's mod 1. Wait, can I do it? Guys, I need everybody to stop talking. I'm going to show it to the way the way that you should have done it. There, there may be some slight slight differences in in what you can do with tape diagrams, but the way that I sh that I showed you and taught it to you back in mod one should look like this. Um, whenever you're given a ratio seven for four, that is your tape diagram. So it's going to be a seven box by four box tape diagram, and you want to label who's who. Billy is seven. Everybody listen, please. And Ryan is four. My next key IV, VIP, is total of 99. When you see total, let all of these tape segments represent the total. That's your model for the total. So how many total tape segments or how many total boxes are there for both ratios? I'll say it again. How many total boxes? Seven and four. That's how many total boxes? Alyssa. Eleven. Now ready? Ninety-nine has to be divided up. 11 ways. That's going to make each box worth how much? Nine. Nine. Put it in each box. That's the hard part. Once you find the value of each box, you have the answer to your problem. Yeah. 11 times 11 is not going to get you 99, though. And I'll have to look and see what, what you did. Now all I got to do is count up all my nines because this is Billy and this is Ryan. So it's or I could do. I know that there's seven boxes, so it's nine times seven. He hits sixty-three, and Ryan is nine times four, and that's thirty-six. And look, watch. Here's your double check. These two numbers should add up to how much? Ninety-nine, and it does. Eight. 
middle grader with different teacher changes, do they know that we're not trying to simultaneously dot? Oh, absolutely. Is that like common score? It is. The dot, the dot should be used. You'll, yeah, definitely. All right, anybody that's got different, listen, listen, because we're up against the clock. If you got, if you did it a different way, I'll look at it. I just don't want to address it as a whole group right now. Okay? That's okay. I'll look at it. If you're not sure as to why you got to write, I'll look at it, but I just can't address it right now. I want to do the last one. So I do want to give you an opportunity to start the next set of questions. There's a next set on number one. No, I'm going to give you a new book. All right, number seven. Did anybody do number seven as a TRF part to hold? Oh, That's the way you should do it. But I'll show you a second variation if it makes sense. All right, here we go. If you do part to whole ratio, look in the question for a percent. Because when you have a percent, you have a complete part to whole ratio. What's the percent that they give you? Aileen. Okay, 20%, which means what as a ratio? What out of what? Aaron. Right, percent means per 100. So you have 20 over 100. Whenever you have a percent, you have an entire ratio. Now I look back and I've got to do something with this 60 and I've got to decide is it part or whole? Uh oh. Whole. Okay. Now what I would do is, again, you're trying to see what the multiplication relationship is between the first number and the second number. And that's not always readily seen. But I can reduce this and make it 2 over 10 equals something over 60. You can do now you can do it. Can't we just plug out the every you could. You could. You could do it that way too. If you can't see it right away, look to see if you can reduce that, that part to whole percentage. Okay, so now 10 times what makes 60? Whatever I do to the bottom, I've got to do to the top. And that's going to get your answer. The tip is $12. What? Oh. 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 Okay. Where did I lose you? Because I thought we were doing good, and then all of a sudden when I put the answer in there, I lost you. What happened there? I thought it was 2 times 30. Guys, one at a time, please. All right, also, guys, what I want you to also do is if you're going to the store or going to a restaurant, just listen. And the bill is $60. You are not going to give the server a $300 tip on a $60 dinner. Don't play games. Let's be serious. You have to look back and see if your answer makes sense. Hey, I mean it. You have to look back and see if your answer makes sense. 300 does not make sense. Neither does 30. The other way that you could do it is you do it this way. You take your dollars, which is 60. Take the 20% and change it to a decimal. No. 0.20 or 0.2. And if you multiply those two numbers together, you get $12. It'll work. It'll work. You can do it with a tape diagram, too. Okay, real quick. Now, once we have this number, because this is the key. The total is then 60 plus 12, $72 here. And then if you have to figure out what each person's paying, I have to divide 72 by how much? Three people. And if you do everything correct, you get $24 each.